Hello comrades and welcome back to Steve on Steve Plays Ostalgie The Berlin Wall. I haven't played this game for a while and I've been looking forward to it because Mao, um, China Mao's Legacy is coming out next week and so I've been playing a lot of these games again and also people seem to want to see more of this. So um, also I'm trying out the new webcam thing, I don't really do webcams usually but, I'm, but uh, there's going to be a new video coming out soon. Uh, it's going to be you know, one, of, one of those long big essays that I like to brag about once in a while. And yeah, I'm just trying out different light things, and I can't. I bought one of those round light things, but I can't really find a place to put it. Um, either way, we'll be playing Ostalgie, and we'll be playing as the GDR. Because, again, I've, playing, I've been playing this game a while for the past few days, just trying out different routes and options. And um, Senor Poet on Discord suggested I play uh, Strasser's Germany, which I've tried, but I haven't been able to do it, but I'm willing to try again. And I realized that this attempt will probably end in failure, <laughs> as do a lot of mine, but yes, obviously all of the standard things, party doggery, pressure from Moscow, West propaganda, let's start. So yeah, the usual GDR start, and let's see, we started with a lot of money, which is good. So we're going to build a factory of electronics, which will push down West Algia, and increase standard of living and develop science, which is obviously very important. And we'll study the re-equipment of special services to help with stability. Now, we're obviously going to try to trade with people as soon as we can. Let's see. Uh, we'll recognize Lebanon. We will channel... We'll support Comrade Gaddafi in Libya. And we're going to want our diplomatic reputation to fall a little bit, so let's do a little political liberalization in the late planned system. Alright. Lovely. And now I think we can trade with China. No, not yet. Oh yes, fight against chemical weapons, a conference of chemical weapons just began in Paris. We will sign it and, you know, get rid of all the chemical weapons because they're horrible, honestly. Now, relationships with China, trade with China, excellent. Now, trade with Syria, brilliant. And now, can we knock it down to 79 so we can trade with Egypt? I don't know. Because as soon as we start trading with India, that's going to push us uh, up one. In terms of diplomatic reputation, let's see. We'll get integral from the Soviet Union, which is minus one. And I guess we can do a few in politics. I think we can get down there so we can trade with with Egypt, because that would be good. Let's see, the Japanese Communist Party, let's establish a connection with the Japanese Communists, because you never know how that will end up. And of course, let's let pause. Okay, so, integral, liberalization of film industry, allow more publicity and release it for hire. Okay, so that's... Okay, that's good. And now, events at home. Combat groups of the working class. Since the beginning of last year, the composition of the organization Combat Groups of the Working Class, created to protect the socialist system, according to the reports of the Stasi, has become subject to process of demoralization. Cases of evasion from orders became more frequent. There were cases of leaving the organization. And literally around the corner, silver, uh, around the corner of the celebration of the 40th anniversary of the GDR. What should be done with this situation? We can disband this organization, create a smaller but active one out of trusted comrades. Yeah, we don't want to be too oppressive because, again, diplomatic reputation, so we'll dissolve them and create the much smaller assistance groups. Uh, yeah, we can stop fearing a blow to the back, but the assistance groups will likely be unable to help us in the case of an emergency. Fair enough, but at least we survive. Obviously, in Nostalgy, the first year, the priority should be to just survive and stabilize your country. After that, you can start growing and doing things. But yes, as the GDR, we're going to want to accumulate a lot of money by 1991. Because that's when the Soviet Union collapses and we have the choice of taking on and creating a new Comic-Con, which I think costs like 25 or even 30, which is crazy. So yeah, I don't know if we'll be doing that in this um, attempt, but I'm not sure exactly what this will end up as. Because if I fail the first few like Strasserist events, which I might out of inattention, this might not become anything. <laughs> But hopefully it goes well. But then again, this is the Steve on Steve channel, always full of surprises. <laughs> yeah, obviously, like and subscribe to this uh, channel if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. And um, please put any comments in the comments below. I love talking to you guys. And join our Discord, where you can actually find out where my new videos come out. Because YouTube is now terrible, and everybody knows that, and I have to say that openly. And yes, my channel has been growing. It's been growing very slowly, but it has been growing, and there's a lot of new people. We're about to hit 500 subscribers, which is very exciting, so thank you for that. Probably make something about that. Um, I don't know. I was thinking of doing like a, like a reading of the Communist Manifesto, but like ASMR style or something, just to piss off people. 
I feel like that would be hilarious. Okay, so I don't. I've, you see, I've given up on Afghanistan. Let's trade with India. And we almost got enough agents to uh, provoke the war in India. We're making money, but let's improve our economy a bit. Let's get some more industry, and we're gonna want to build an army base at some point. But again, we need to prioritize keeping money. At some point, we'll get the event to get rid of Henneker, and we'll do it, but we won't get Egon Krenz, we'll get Milka, I think, or one of the other ones. I'm not too great with German names. Alright, provocation at the Indian border, that's lovely, just what we need. Money is doing okay, but yeah, standard of living and science we need to improve. I feel like building another science institute, that would be really good, because the last time I played the GDR, I got very late into the game, up until the end of 1991, but I basically did no science. So I kind of want to invest in that. The State Peace and Development Council, what's up in you? Uh, our agents are too weak, mm, that's unfortunate. Uh, but we'll still trade with them, so that's okay. Honestly, I feel like that's never a problem. I've never had any problems with Burma. Alright, the disease of the Vietnamese reformer. Vietnamese Gorbachev is unwell. It's not worth our attention. You see, that's the thing, you know, you can either prioritize India very quickly or you can do this. We'll send them wishes for a speedy recovery, because we're not trying to be a marxist Leninist in this playthrough, we're actually trying to very seriously diverge from that, and hopefully we'll be successful. Again, I imagine we won't be able to fully do it in the first episode, so if you've done this or you have any ideas how I can improve my gameplay or just be better, do leave that in the comments below and do join our Discord where we can talk about that. Alright, lots of stuff happening at once. Events in Tiananmen Square, uh, speak in defense of the Chinese government, we need to keep socialist camp stability high. Yeah, okay, Poland is dead. <laughs> um, yeah, do not intervene in Polish affairs, just let the Eastern Bloc start crumbling. Get around the wall. So yeah, the Hungarian People's Republic opened the checkpoint. Close borders, dude. Sorry, man. Alright, lots of stuff. This service. Poland declares that it opens its borders. Close the borders. <laughs> um, Vietnam, New Cambodia. Um, and support the withdrawal of Vietnamese troops, maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah. Let's just try to keep surviving. Okay. Prashay Brezhnev. Um, sign the small Brezhnev doctrine. Okay, that's not gonna to go well. Hungary, the end of the Hungarian Republic. Nope, don't help them. <laughs> I actively want to seek out the collapse of all of these groups. Um, support the Ramizalia regime. Will that do anything? I don't think so. Yeah, so our position isn't very good. At least we have now a lot of agents that we might be able to use in Japan. I'm not sure exactly, because... Yeah, okay, there we go. Japan, Red Rising Sun. Help not only with money, but also special services. Boom, there you go. Japan leaves NATO. That's pretty tasty. And then if you actually... If the USSR collapses and you leave the military alliance and you don't save the USSR, then you can actually trade with Japan, which is pretty cool. Alright, let's get genetics going, because it's very good. Helmut Kohl's discovery. We will keep at the behests of... Maybe it's time for some reforms. But you see, what does that mean? It's very vague. Um, well, the framework of the... The USSR officially proclaimed freedom of choice. Okay, so everything is falling apart and nobody's doing anything about them. Well, actually, no, I'm actively encouraging it. So, yeah, if you have any ideas for any other games that I should play, then definitely leave them in the description. I keep saying that, just... I'm trying to get that engagement going because, you know... I often have a lot of ideas on what I want to do, but I don't know what you guys want to see, and you're the ones that watch this video, so definitely leave comments in the description and on my Discord, and do actually join me on Twitter, because I will be posting all of my video uploads on Twitter and on Discord, so that's a great way of keeping up with my videos, and the bell button as well, because um, YouTube is terrible, as I've already mentioned, and they just keep shitting on small creators, especially those that make controversial content or, fo or do these non-big deal games essentially or yeah not clickbaity explosive material which is just not what I do like for example my next video I'm going to be doing it on Imperator Rome and I'm going to be talking about the Ludo narrative dissonance you know that's not a very sexy and amazing topic for the YouTube algorithm to promote so yeah if you guys just click the bell and you know all the other shit Twitter and Discord just so we can actually keep this going Alright, Iran, it's time for reforms. Die, that's nice. <laughs> oh god. Um, GDR, okay, time has come. Yeah, okay, there we go. So, Honecker was forced to interrupt his participation in the meeting on the evening. He was taken into Romanian government clinic with biliary colic. Okay. 
After the preliminary stabilization of the health of Henneker, oh, I served on that, surgery was carried out to remove the inflamed gallbladder and the part of the large intestine. According to the urologist Peter Althaus, during the operation it was found but due to the patient's poor condition, the supposedly cancers were not removed in the right kidney. Wow. Which Honecker was not informed about. Due to his condition until about September of the year, he will not be able to personally perform his duties. Maybe it's time to change. Alright, so there's Egon Krenz, one of the representatives of the moderates. So this guy's like a kind of a reformer, Gorbachev kind of deal. Then there's Eric Milka, who has long reported to Honecker about the start of fermentations among state organizations. I will be happy to stop the discontent. Right. So this guy is useless. Stability, we can keep Honecker, which is the way I usually like to play. But Eric Milka helps us grab control and change everything. Okay. So while Honecker was in the remaining clinic behind his back in Berlin, a conspiracy was taking shape. Eric Milka was completely dissatisfied with Honecker's passivity towards the enemies of the state and was assured of the need for change to the unstable situation in the world. Great. So now I have a new leader, Eric Milka. Solid Czechist. That's pretty cool. Alright, stuff orthodox, moderate reformist, Gorbachev's friend, technocrat, that would be actually good, but then we don't want to piss off the party. Yeah, you see, West Elgi is already very high, and we need to kind of not have that. So let's get an army base just to help with that a bit, and with agents as well, because the agents are always good. Something else happening in the homeland. Automation, yes, it's time to announce automation, because that will help with science up fucking money. Uh, nice. That was fun. Hmm. Alright, so we need to give up on our genetics so that the automation can get studied. Yeah, that's kind of a tip for the game. If you didn't know, you don't have to actually ever study automation as GDR because you will eventually get an event that gives you the option to do that. Okay. Sorry, my voice is kind of fucked. <clears throat> huh. So what can we do? Okay, India. Indo-Pakistani conflict in every way, sabotage negotiations. Perfect. Let's actually put sanctions on Pakistan and start trading with North Korea because honestly at this point we don't really care anymore about those ramifications. Um, Operation Valkyrie, there we go, this is the kind of main event at the start of this chain. Kermit General Secretary, as you remember 45 years ago, a group of Wehrmacht officers led by Ludwig Beck tried to organize a coup against Adolf Hitler, but the bomb planted by Colonel Stauffenberg did not kill the Fuhrer and the conspirators were executed. But earlier we were silent about their exploit and our heroes were Telman, Liebknecht and Rosa Luxemburg. Today, our people are experiencing not the best days and perhaps we need new national heroes to rally the nation in such a difficult time. Actually, it is worth remembering that not all the participants were supporters of socialism and some of them were absolutely ardent nationalists. They were, they were Nazis. Alright, so, recognize the plotters and who advocated peace and did not have further goals on T as national heroes. There we go, that's what we want to do. Today our general secretary spoke on central television while in the Plotten Sea prison, where most convicted conspirators were executed. He talked about the tortures of people executed here in the name of Germany. For the first time in the history of GDR, the names of the officers were openly named. Beck, Stauffenberg, Olbricht, Haften, and Kürnheim, true patriots of Germany who gave their lives, and Friedrich Fromm, etc. So yeah, this is kind of the beginning of this internal subversion and the beginnings of the fermentation of the nationalist coup in our country. And I think that'll be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And if you, again, have any ideas or suggestions, please, please let me know and let everybody else know. And um, yeah, we can all finally find happiness. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.